Hello, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Animal Art, and I create colorful, therapeutic animal art tutorials for daily creative quiet time to help you reduce stress and master animal art. I want to wish you a blessed Valentine's Day full of hugs and kisses. If you're not receiving them, make sure you give them in abundance, especially to a little fur baby around you. I just finished a schnauzer tutorial for the master class, but in this tutorial, part two, we'll be finishing our abstract horse. Let's get painting. All right, so we're gonna pick up where we left off in part one. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. Also, you'll hear some little squeals and babbling coming from Zachary. He's in his little play chair to my right. So we're going to work on the vibrant highlights reflecting from our sky in the lake water. And I'm going to pull in some yellow ochre, just the tiniest little corner. I'm just going to dab it with the corner of my brush and a little bit of white. a little bit more of the yellow and purple. Okay, so let's work on our highlights. The strong one I'm gonna put in first while trying to keep this straight. Is right here, and if, if anywhere you go wrong here, we can always straighten that out once we work on this area here. What I want to do is I want to put lines of this throughout the ocean or throughout the lake and kind of keep the lighter ones here because the mountains are reflecting a darker color onto the onto the water here. So that's going to get a little bit darker highlights. And because the water is moving, we want to have little gaps in between the purple and the yellow. It's a more tranquil, relaxed lake. It's not high rapids or anything like that. So we want to keep these relatively close together. So you're seeing I'm going off my canvas for some of them and then keeping them behind the horse. Just mix up some more. So I'm going to reach this up in different widths. See how I'm making some that are uh, thicker, especially up close, they're going to be thicker. And as I move back, they're going to get a little thinner. And I'm also going to eventually add a little bit more purple to them. But while I have this color, I'm going to work on these underneath the horse. Okay, so I also want to add one in the front here because we're getting a shadow casted from the horse, but on the sides of it here and here, we're going to get some of these highlights. Okay, so now let's add a little bit more purple. Okay, so we'll start doing the ones back here. Ah, that's still too light. I want that to be more of a medium value. Ooh, we're even getting some pinks in there. Look how cool that is. It's getting a little bit of pink. Put a few here. All right, 
right, so now let's let that dry so that we can work on, I'm gonna mix up some of my white with my Prisma Violet, my gray purple, and my phthalo blue, all our cool colors. And this is gonna be a highlight. I want this to be too light. Yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna put these highlights back here. Actually, that is still a little too light, so I'm gonna add in more of my purple and more of my blue. There we go. All right, so let's wash, wash out our brush and work on the darker shadows here. So I'm gonna mix up just my Prisma Violet and my Phthalo Blue. Okay, I want this pretty dark, okay? So there's gonna, we're gonna create this shadow. We're trying to keep this line straight too. creating gaps just so that we can indicate the waves and I'm going around those yellow highlights. I'm going to pull them down off my canvas from the bottom. Now I'm working horizontally so I'm actually going to work in between these highlights again. Come in around, it's going to be real dark right underneath that tail, come out and right below the legs. I'm going to kind of cut into the highlight there. Right here where I'm coming up on the lower left hand side of our canvas, extend that shadow out with this dark purple a little bit more than I did. If you notice in a reference photo, it goes a little further down and to the left. I actually don't want that highlight right there. I want that to be a little bit darker since it's so close to the tail and those legs. All right, I'm also gonna richen up the color, so I'm mixing up Prisma Violet and my Ultramarine, or my Phalo Blue, and I wanna darken up in between these highlights here. It's okay if you get on your horse because we're gonna do some more to our horse yet. I'm gonna make this here area a little bit darker too. And to the left of it. Oh, wonderful. It's looking so nice. Look at all those colors. Let's let our water dry for a bit and I'm gonna wash up my brush and we'll work on those really pretty highlights on the mountains now. Yes, they're so exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up some of my purple or my gray purple, a little bit of white, and I believe that's it. Let's just try. Let's see if we need to add some more of our phthalo blue. No, that's perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go down, and then there's gonna be a little hill right here. Okay, so I'm just using the flat edge of my six, size six flat brush, kind of like Bob Ross here and I'm just gonna carry it all the way down until we get to that hill. Okay, so now I kinda wanna blend it into the side here, which is why I'm gonna put some more purple and phthalo blue into my mixture that we were just using. And I nicely wanna lighten that up, but also blend it in. I wanna keep the left side a little bit lighter, okay? Going off my canvas. I'm gonna wash out my brush and go back to that original color of our gray blue and, our gray purple, sorry, and white. Now these highlights will kind of go still on the left side, but they're gonna be real sharp, a little bit more steep. And to the left a little bit like that. 
So I'm not going to carry it all the way into the horse, but I'll go back to that dark color just so we can blend it. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pull in some Prisma Violet and Phalo Blue, the original colors that we used for the mountains. And I'm going to lift this up right around the head of the horse. Okie dokie. So now let's move back to our horse. And I'm going to use my size 2 filbert brush. All right, let's start pulling in more color into our horse, especially around the belly. I'm going to mix up some raw sienna, some yellow ochre, and a little bit of cadmium yellow and white. So that's that's raw sienna, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, and white. Add some yellow around the belly just to give it just subtle little highlights from the sky and along the arm here. I'm going to add the smallest amount of orange to this. A little bit on the legs too. Even more orange here. I'm also going to add a little bit here. Oh, that's a little too much orange. I'm going to mix in some cadmium mellow and yellow ochre to that just to tone it down. Okay. And I'll bring that right underneath here. A little bit on that arm, right? That front, front leg. All right, next I'm going to start using a joiner color. I need a few joiner colors here. So let's get our raw sienna into this yellow ochre mixture. Still want it kind of light because we have a lot of light values in the horse. All right, so I'm going to put a, pull a little bit into that side of the leg. A little bit around the chest. Oh, needs to get a little darker on the chest. So let's add some burnt sienna into that. Even more burnt sienna into that. I'm going to continue using that for right here around the neck, curving that down a little bit, and again adding some more burnt sienna. And that mixture will also go down here where we're getting a little bit more sh shading. bring out more yellows in that. So let's go to our cadmium yellow. Oops, mixing with other colors. Cadmium yellow. A cadmium yellow orange and a little bit of white. A little bit on the leg there. Let's add some white to that. Now let's pull up the highlights on the horse. I'm going to mix up some white cadmium yellow and a little bit of yellow ochre. Okay, I see what I'm missing. There's an, um, a value right on the, the face that we're going to need to mix up. So for that, we're going to use our white Prisma Violet, just a tiny bit, 
raw sienna, and a little bit of yellow ochre. So that's white, yellow ochre, prisma violet, and raw sienna. That's a little too dark, so I'm going to actually add, or light, I'm going to add, add more raw sienna. And then more white to that, so we can blend that in nicely with the highlights. I'm going to use my finger just to get rid of some of that highlighted there. There we go. So that's a nice gradual light to medium to dark. And actually, we can make that even darker by adding some more Prisma Violet to Raw Sienna. See how I'm doing this? I'm actually going to bring this up along the jaw and a little bit along the ear. I'm going to move to my size one spot brush and I'm actually going to go in with straight white. And I want to add more highlights along the forehead. Now we can add this white to the forehead and along the snout as well as along the back. But after that I'm going to pull in some yellow ochre and I'm going to tone down that highlight just a smidge and I'm going to add that to the tops of both limbs. I'm intentionally trying to create this brushstroke patchy look. I'm not trying to make sure everything's perfectly blended. I really want to create that same kind of texture and design in the horse as we see in the water. So we're going to go a shade darker now. We went to our highlights, then we kept adding yellow. Now we're going to add even more yellow to that. We're just going to go from light to a little bit darker to a little bit darker just to create those joiner colors that connect our highlights to our darkest values. So now for a little while, I'll just be touching up those darkest values, and I'm mixing up Prisma Violet with my Burnt Sienna for that. And now let's add some beautiful vibrant highlights to the tail. I'm going to mix up yellow ochre and a little bit less white this time. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm not sure if I said this, but there is a good amount of warm reds and both these colors are Prisma Violet and our Burnt Sienna. And so I'm gonna mix up a good amount plus my Nap Crimson Red into that. We're already seeing a hint of that on our canvas, but let's pull out those reds even more. So first let's start off with the areas that are most obvious, like around the neck, around that back leg, and then a few other areas where we have that dominant maroon color. Now let's pull out those bright highlights right around the legs of the horse, again with our white, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, and a little bit, very tiny amount of my Prisma Violet. And I didn't actually add cadmium yellow here, but I really recommend you adding some if you really want to make that vibrant, or you can tone it down on the yellow and not add cadmium yellow. I'm going to add a little bit more Prisma Violet just so I can do those ones further in the back. Alright, and lastly, we want to pull out those highlights in the mountains. We make them a little bit more vibrant. Let's use those cooler colors, and that's Prisma Violet, our Phalo Blue, and our Gray Purple, and a little bit of white. I'm just going to pull this down along the lightest part of the mountain where we're getting that highlight. I'm just going to do some touch-ups around the areas that I cut into a little bit with the water. Just mixing up more of the same colors that we did before. I think the last thing I want to do is just get those darks real dark. Going... Da, 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 da. My black Prisma Violet and my Burnt Sienna. So aside from the hair, I'm going to use this to fill in all those darkest areas.
I feel like we need to tone down the shadows along the back and back legs. I'm going to use yellow ochre and raw sienna. That's a joiner color for our highlights and just that shadow there. And then I think I need one more joiner color that's on the darker side of raw sienna and burnt sienna right along the belly here. All right, creatives, that is the last step of this stallion tutorial. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Baby Zachary and I wish you a blessed Valentine's Day. Bye.